Within our own graphic design studio, we have exclusive access to print studio, a IT suite with really high-powered computers, which will run any software you need. So you've got a RISO uh, printer. And then we got the large format printer. You can print up to A2. You screen prints quite a lot. I've seen a lot of people use one of the knit machines. It looks pretty cool, the stuff they end up making with it. For photo studio behind our graphic design studio, and then you can photograph your outcomes for some really professional photos. And also, if you want to do traditional letterpress, there's a really, really good letterpress studio. I think the atmosphere here is really relaxed and really supportive. The tutors here and the technicians here, they, they will help you for all your projects and they, they will really like to chat with you about what you have done. I'd say it's, yeah, it's always really encouraged to just, when you think you've finished something or you're getting to an end, to think, well, how can I actually take this one step further? I want to describe the technicians as a resource, but they're probably the resource I've used the most because they're always there and really helpful. I think this course really helped me develop my core design skill because we learn a lot about how to do typeface. We learn how to use the software that that the industry requires. Um, and then we challenge students with more complex problems and ask them to look at graphic design in a more expanded way so that in their final year they start to produce work which is important to them. So this can be um, quite political, can be quite socially engaged. It, sometimes it's about their background or where they're from. It can be fun or funny. So it's really about a wide range of interest that's reflected in the student body. I think the building's really important, that you come into Camberwell, it feels friendly, it feels like a community. There are five fine art courses here, and so the influence of fine art all around us uh, definitely comes into the students' way of working and practice. You can have a lot of experimental freedom and uh, really do what you want, to be honest. It doesn't necessarily have to be typical graphic design. You can be informed by graphic design, but if you want to make a sculpture or a video or a piece of music, then you can do that as well, which is good. The course is located very much in Camberwell, so we engage with the local community. Students live and work locally. We do exhibitions in Peckham. It's really great to have it all on our doorstep. It's important for graphic designers to share their work and the degree shows a great opportunity for them to show their work to the public. When you get a good amount of exposure, whether it's just friends, family or any sort of people in the industry that do come to the show, will get to see your work. It's a good experience to just be able to talk about your work as well because if you want to go into a career in graphic design, it'll be, you need to get sort of that skill and confidence of being able to talk about your work and be proud of it. By the third year, students have got an idea about the kind of work they want to uh, pursue after they leave. Some of them want to do further study. Some of them are starting little collectives and working together on design or creative projects. Others will go and get design jobs in studios. Some want to practice more as a fine artist and others use their transferable skills and move into creative services or marketing. Yeah, I think when you leave university, you're in good place really to sort of go out into the world and start working on your own career, definitely. Mm -hmm.